facial rejuvenation encompasses several different procedures we can use to help someone look younger, more youthful, more rested. Oftentimes we're using procedures that are non-surgical such as Botox or tissue fillers which have become extremely popular in the past few years. Facial rejuvenation really encompasses the use of various different non-surgical techniques that will help improve the wrinkles and aging of the face such as Botox, tissue fillers, and occasionally even lasers. It's really meant to help improve the aging skin and help remove wrinkles and give somebody a more youthful appearance. Botox is a drug we use oftentimes to help soften wrinkles and creases, particularly in areas between the eyebrows, across the forehead, as well as a crow's feet region, which is on the outer aspect of the eyes, particularly noticeable when patients smile. The medication is really useful to help soften the strength of the muscle so the wrinkles are not nearly as prominent during facial expression. The fillers are usually done here in the office with no anesthesia. They're not particularly uncomfortable to do. Most people tolerate those procedures fairly well. The procedures themselves take only about 10 to 15 minutes to do and the patients usually leave here with minimal bruising and swelling. The results will last based upon which tissue filler we're using. Radius typically lasts a little bit longer because of the quality of the filler itself. It's a little more dense and a little thicker. In general, patients can expect about a year and a half worth of longevity with Radius. Whereas with Bellotero and Juvederm, most patients can expect about 10 to 12 months of longevity. Whereas Restylane, it's more like five to six months. If you're interested in finding out more about these procedures, call our office or email us and we would be happy to set up a consultation with you.